All right, I have my goggles on and I'm ready to play. My name is Slot154. Welcome back to Stray. We have made it through the sewers. Knock this shit down. Try and knock down your paint. Now leaving foot. Now leaving footprints. What are you gonna do? Nothing. We made it through the sewer and survived. Let's get the scratch on. Oh yeah. Yeah, don't mind me. And we made it to what is known as the ant village we are here to meet balthazar that's right his name is balthazar and we have no idea if momo survived my bet is on he made it but he did not he will not live well i'm uh, sorry uh, yeah he went through his uh, really Yeah, so we found out a very, very important secret about uh, our drone buddy. <laughs> Ooh, got an achievement for that. What else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but is there even anyone left to save? Oh yeah, uh, 013 uh, has... Me and 013 had a theory about this. We think, meaning I think, meaning we think, that all this... Oh, remember. Oh, I can't remember. We think that all the humans transferred their consciousness 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 over to the robots that's why there was one of those pods at the place where we found our drone buddy as well as one here you also may be asking why i fucked with this guy's game of mahjong oh here's balthazar oh what is this well he found a way to survive that yeah, gibberish gibberish hey don't you know not to interrupt the fellow during his transcendence transcendental meditation pretty sure i said that wrong oh it's you you were mama when we received that call earlier I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc? So you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. The memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc and Clementa. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's someone who can get you there. Apparently she has some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for your de for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you will be the very first. I wish you um, I wish you luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. I'm sorry for shutting down earlier. I'm human. Probably the last in the world. Now look what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? Maybe if we find Clementine, we can restore my memories and get you back home at the same time. We can go back down, find out more from the companions, or head towards Midtown. Gonna go find out more. Okay, what can I do here? Eh, yes, friend. I'm gonna go back down and talk to people and get that memory I saw. But yeah, uh, I don't think, I think the doc remembering was something that wasn't supposed to happen. 
I think him and the other humans were for, supposed to forget they were ever humans so that the transition wouldn't, you know, destroy them psychologically. This language, the companion robots made it up from scratch. How impressive. I remember it happening when I was in the network. I don't know when exactly, but at one time all communication started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck in a computer alone for a long time. So I translated every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand everything. Now that I'm out and I know their language, I am curious to hear all they have to say. So am I. Electric Zerk, everywhere. Electric Zerk? Hey. Oh, hello there. It's been a long time since we had a visitor. Well, except for those damn Zerk, of course. Imagine if we ha could harness their power. Have them run in a wheel or something. Situation potential. That's why you get eaten. When I grow up, I want to be like a Clementine. I wanted to explore like she did, but the grown-ups forbade us from leaving Ant Village. That's because you're in a very shitty spot to be in. If you know there's more than 900 shades of white paint? No, I mean, don't tell anyone, but I'm creating my own shade of paint. Call me Garbage Brown. Yeah, this gar conversation was garbage. May is in her deconstructionist period, so she says. I'm sure she'll become a great artist. The only she could practice somewhere else. I do love the smell of fresh paint. It reminds me of... Oh wait, I can't smell anything. How sad. Yeah, so all these things are saying are, is making me think more and more. Can I knock this down? I can. Okay. I got to do... Are you mad? No, I guess not. Well, that happened. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. No one can stop me. One to six. Cheater. Statistically, I should have won at least eight times. You glad I don't knock over your game again? Yeah, so I didn't waste too much time. Waste too much time talking to everyone. The soothing sound of trash falling shooting water falls no danger. It's a blissful place to work on my poetry. Be listen. The mighty concrete shield me in the tomb. Shall you also be my tomb? Think it's too sore? Sort of, yeah. Key is a bit of, you know, joy. Alright, let's head up. Talk to everyone I could or wanted to. Oh. Fine. Oh, more people. Well, robots. Hello, buddy. How are you? Did you know that one planet time travel is one of special plants that can live without sunlight? I have a huge collection of them. Do you want to see? It's still missing some color, though. I'm missing yellow paint, plate, a red one, and a purple. If only some small actor could get them for me. Fine. Fine! If you could tell me where the fuck they are. 
So they made it to here and Balthazar couldn't go on any further. My only question is how did these got these robots get here? All right, there's the way forward. Not a complete idiot. Ah. Uh, but to be a cat, to be this free. All right, are we up to Midtown? Looks like we are. I wish we still had the ultra, the UV light. Look, this is a subway station. I had completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride it anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. I remember. I was doing this for them. But they're gone now. It was so long ago. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Like I said, I think they transferred their consciousness to the robots. Anyway, we're near Midtown now. Let's find this Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us in the right direction. Almost all the key memories. All right. It's one to do this once. Oh, yeah, this feels comfortable. All right, that made my heart stop a little bit. Oh, what I was looking for. Remember. There's so many books here. Turning test legacy, the ethics of art the ethics of artificial intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing was quite like the smell of books and the turn of a page. It was a feeling almost like comfort. A book was like spending time with someone.
Just because I want you to get eaten. Hello. Hmm. Huh? Oh, you're quiet, huh? So th is this Midtown? Or just subway dwellers? Oh, that's not good. Don't worry about the trash. Neko Corporation takes care of everything. It's their fault the Zerg exists, so they were kind of short sighted. Can we talk? Can we? Nope. gonna move on Clementine wanted Clementine troublemaker outsider and rebellious please support any sidewalks uh oh I already told you five times Yosh you can't run around like that it's dangerous hey this is the first time I've seen an act like this kind of block you look so fluffy I'm a bounty hunter oh it's an old display on this wanted screen right you should have somebody else. I'm too busy with no shit to know anything. Well, Yoshua, you have to say about yourself. Guess I can't talk to Yosh. Yosh is a dick. few things I should look at. Yaha! Eh. Can we talk? Can we talk? <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing that till you talk to me. Talk to the no, I can't get the drone. I will swatch you. Oh, we're in Midtown. Don't 
So the police are so that police officer is a sentinel. Ship of Theseus, god damn it. Then the next day, my other arm too. Then my body is sold until I replace all the parts and upgrade it to my software. Well, I've been the same role what you're talking to now. Yes and no, it's fucking annoying. He was just trying to get out of paying for a ship. Oh, hey, what are you showing me right now? A bunch of people I don't know. My guess is they're probably living in a nice housing building from the middle of town. Cool. Do what you want with that. God damn it, Marvel. One and one mention of the ship of Theseus and now it's everywhere. Alright, let's keep going. Talking to people. Hello there, Red. And at the court, we work all day long to gather the waste and send it downstairs where they recycle and repurpose it. Speaking of downstairs, it's been a while since we had news from there. Yeah, that's not what's happening. Cool picture, that one. Hey, is that address on the back? First one was the street, then the... Then there is the floor and door number. Should be pretty easy to find. Thank you, you're the first helpful person who helped. Even though that might get you killed. Hey, how you doing? So the little one you can't play over here. The natural core factory is no place for little folks while I you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. If you can wait a few years, we will open right back up. Fucking liar. Cool picture. All right, so they're just gonna keep giving me that same one when I show them the picture. Cool. Uh, you're it's upside down guy. Can I get in the box? Yes Yes Now I just need to find a smaller box I'm busy. What do you want? Hmm Well your newspaper is upside down fucking amateur Oh, they got a lock on it This merchant cook sold me a faulty battery the other day. Not just pretends not to hear me every time I tried to confront him. If it wasn't for the sentinels on patrol, he ended up as spare parts. You know, you're talking shit, but you're not doing anything, so you either do it and accept the consequence, or shut the fuck up. But yeah, the fact that Clementine was able to teach the robots in the ant hill how to grow the plants that only use that only need low levels of life light says a lot about what possible that uh who they could possibly be. I don't have a mixtape. I'll be back to make fun of you. What do you got to say? Are you one of those young punks listening to this loud music all day? Don't touch anything. Don't make any noise. Don't ask for credit. Now I'm going to burn down your store. It's the trivia shop in Midtown, but the shopkeeper is pretty open. Where are these homes? Can't go that way. It looks like a bar. No music. 
The music is telling me I'm going the right way. I've wasted enough time. Isn't it so cool right now? So chill. I think nothing bad can happen to us. But hey, I know her. I used to see her a lot. I think she lives around here. She was always talking about leaving the city. I don't get it. This place is great. Why leave? Oh, Mo. DJ Matt Keith Night Roll. Okay. Hey, Dumpers, we can see you too. Life is boring since the signals put camera in our residence. Hey, those tracks are ours. Don't you know? Don't you know not to steal? Oh, tapes. I gave you one, but you'll have to do something for Janine, Miko, and me. The Sentinels have installed the cameras to watch over us. We don't like it at all. Can you get them back off our backs? Okay. 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 First things first, I'm going to see what that sentinel was doing. Hopefully this doesn't get me killed. Can I? Let's go kill some cameras. What do you mean you forgot your character sheet? I spent the whole week preparing this session. I'm sorry, I forgot where I put it. Well, let's play these way. I will go in that cave. Let's go. D&D. &D, very fun. Very good nerd, nerd fun. Whoops. Where is this last camera? Her room's all boarded up. We know where we're going. I just gotta find this last camera. What are you exactly? A quadruped making cute sounds? I love the concept. There it is. Right, let's destroy this camera. 
Then go inside Clementine's room. Oh, we're gonna have to use the boxes to hide, aren't we? Hold on, I didn't think you'd kill me. Here's your boss, you heard it. Help all of you go to jail. Cause I won't, I'm downright adorable. Let's go into Clementine's room. Hey, Clemmy. Oh, fuck you. Oh, I'm liking this. Haha. <laughs> No. Gonna take a quick nap. All right, got some rest. First things first, I'm gonna go mess with that guy who told me not to fuck with his shop. But we already met the guy who we have to talk to, and I think we're gonna have to hide in the boxes later on. Did 
This has to be the guy. Yeah, this is him. Abyss, what do you want? I got the note. Where'd you get that? Oh, you're with the outset, my contact. Let me, let me brief you about the atomic battery. The battery's powered during the mechacore factory right now, but this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They check every person who enters, turns away anyone who is not a worker. Here's an idea, Dia. Give me a work jacket and a working helmet while I stay here to check out before we go to the enter. So I just need to find a helmet. Okay. Close, close. Get lost. Go fuck yourself. I tried downloading an Anibot to be the best at this game called oh, Aimbot. Aimbot, a real problem in some games, but ended up with a malware. Not sure why, but everything seems odd. I asked the other game that existed, but I can't figure out how this one works. Not seeing the whole picture here. You mean dominoes? I mean, uh. No. Well, I messed that up. It's never too good at dominoes. Take this false thing in the light. Not like this guy can not like this guy in the back room would be. Wait, what will it be today though, sir? Our world must seem gigantic from your eyes. I wish I could be a size you like to explore new hidden places. Ah. Aha. I hold to the dungeon we go. It is the middle of the day and you are drunk off your ass, sir. How disappointing. All right, let's get going. Aha! Perfect. We're gonna get that guy arrested, but you know, he's drinking on the job. Should have thought better. Nope, wrong way. This way. This way, yeah. We're gonna go meet up with our contact. All right. Buddy, I got the stuff. I still need a working helmet, though. Did you find one of those? Yep. 
Excellent, this hell will do the trick. I'll get dressed now, why turn it around? No. I'm gonna stare at your shame. Tastes like great, a little snug around the waistline, but it'll do. Okay, hop in this box, I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. Yeah, nothing suspicious here. Just that he partially opened the box. Super stealth? Okay, it's not chasing me through the door. Good thing you're here. You can help me. I lost the key to my place in the historic cube factory. The Sentinels refused to help me. They told me if no place to go, more work here. If by chance you can help me find them, I'll be eternally grateful. Alright, I'll look for your keys. Fuck. Would you mind distracting the sentinels? Hey, a little quick bro quo. Oh, I didn't even see the switch. All right. 
Oh, so this is a waste processing plant. I can't go through there. Aha! There we go. I got it. That took me a bit, but I got it. Yeah, that was bound to happen. We got it. Quick scan before the symbol show. We gotta get this battery back to clear time. Well, that was easy. Thought that was gonna be much more harrowing. But we got out of there real quick. I mean, nearly zero consequence. Well, not for us, at least. Ah. You can still have spot with your pants. Steal out moves. Hey, you think you can stop us from hanging out in our dicks? Do you think the criminal is eyeing my collection of vintage cars? No. All this work for nothing. Hey, Mr. Sentinel. Oh, the shop is open. Uh oh, remember. Oh, where is it? Oh, god damn it. The Sentinels, they are meant to protect people, fight crime, and maintain order. But as life became harder in the city and groups started to rise up, the signals quickly became the hounds of the powerful. They were the perfect tool to keep the city under control, obedient, unquestioning tyrants. Even after the end of humans, they continued to exert their control. Always on duty, relentless. Oh, one more. Yeah, uh, during one of the cuts, I found some of the other ones. 
What should I do here? Yeah, guess nothing's for me here. Just gotta find another way in. It's just a box. It's just a box. I'm gonna jump you guys ahead to when they give up. Oh no, there's four of them. All of them. I may have fucked up. Yeah, so I'm going to jump you guys ahead to either when I have to come back here or they give up. See you soon. Hey right, guys, I'm back. I went a different way. Gotta wait for that one to turn around, then we can get inside. Hey, come in time. Yeah, in the bathroom again. Where the hell is she? Oh. Hmm. Let's start playing with time. Oh, what's that? Looks like some kind of code message. We're going to have to play detective to figure out what happened to her. Look. For B12 and the cat. The answer lies in my stuff. Then there's four symbols. It's signed Clementine. Take a look. All right, Crystal. Okay. You found something? Hmm, I don't see anything. Are you sure? Do I have to find them in order? My sensor can, my sensor's can only detect a harmless, like companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. It's also a message hidden under the container. I'm with blank, blank, blank.
The gym is a medium of, of medium value, low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something and find something useful. Bingo! There's a message that says Blazer. I'm with Blazer. this huh what an odd thing to have in an apartment is this the way the companions here see humans it's kind of funny look something left behind it says i'm with come to late all right this one i have no idea what this thing is but its glow is kind of mesmerizing Sorry, I was elsewhere. I didn't notice this message here. It reads, Nightclub. I'm with Blazer, come to Nightclub. That's it. Well done, Lieutenant Cat. Now let's find... Now let's go find him. We don't have much time. No, we do not. So much easier to get out than it was to get in. I'm almost there. All right, let's go to the nightclub. Time to party. You know, that kind of party. I hate this club. It's full of punkers. Releases all symptoms there. Oh, that's why he's always yelling. His head is megaphones. I don't think the bouncer's going to let us in. Hey guys, I think we're going to go climb up the back again. I know exactly where to go. I went there three times by accident. Can I knock him down? Please tell me I can knock him down. Hey, how'd you get up here? You want to party with us? Here, jump on in. Go get a drink. This is jarring. It said something. Oh God, no, this is, was this what I was supposed to do? I guess it is. Remember. When I was human, my friend and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences of the next morning. It felt good to find joy despite the unlivable surface. And the underground living conditions became more and more squalid. And the capitalistic greed of companies like Neko Corp and the police state created by the signals. Now I don't remember why we are doing that. We were doing that. Cool. I think I missed only one memory. No, I did not see where coming time was. Can I just go up the stairs? No, I gotta ride the lift back up. Oh, 
elevator cat. Take a sip. Oh. Uh, blazer? Yeah, I'm asking, man, my sip. Jams to sit in this game and it looks cool. This club sucks. When I try to win this stupid VIP when they kick me out, can you believe that? I stole this lever just for kids. If you give me a drink, I'll give you a silly lever. I don't need it. I don't want to get caught with it. Alright, let's see if I was the right idea. Oh, thanks, my friend. Here you go, as promised. Can you help me with this? Fine, fine. Let's talk to the bartender. Hey, customer. Access to the VIP balcony is called some private business going on there. Must have been reserved by some blazer guy, I think. So who I need to get to? What the f oh, can I just jump? Can't be that easy. Where the fuck does this lever go to? Did I have to do that? No one told me I had to do that. Damn it, that's where the lever goes? Alright, send me up. God damn it. It took me so long to find that. And I found it so abruptly I forgot to turn off my fan. Dude, I just got here. Don't you fucking dare. I have a very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain so much about them. I want to kill you. For no other reason than I'm hot and angry. I don't understand how that works. Two birds with one stone. You know this club is your love for a cat anyway, nothing personal business is business. I don't understand how that works with them having speakers for mouths. Business is money. And I value money way more than friendship or camaraderie. They're all yours. No, when you betray someone like this, you have to pray that they die. Ah. Looks like we're in a bit of a pickle. So I'm going to end this episode here. So this was Stray, and we've been betrayed and put in prison. And in real life, that person would have to run for me for the rest of their lives because I would not forgive them. Especially if you betray me for something as petty as money. God, I would do horrible things to you. But I, we're going to break out of this prison 
Get Clementine. Use our... Actually, do we still have our time? I can't check my inventory. They took my pack. Get our... Get out into the open and find our family who we have not seen in what's probably been a couple days. So, if you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. It does help the channel. Check out the description. If you made this... Uh, tell me in the comment section what you think. Should we kill Blazer? Because that's a bit of a... That's a serious betrayal. And why do you think the rope impeded Clementine's ability to speak? Because even if I cover the speaker on the, on something, if it gets loud enough, the sound still travels through. So I'm just quite not understanding that. Also, do you agree with my theory that all the robots are actually the people who were the last ones left and just transferred their consciousness over to the robots so that they could live longer? Because... We humans will do a lot of things to avoid our mortality. And I think the only way they can do the consciousness swap and not lose their mind because what machine monstrosities they become is to format their memories of being human. That's why the robots suddenly one day had the ability to become sapient. So, if you made this far in the video, Prime thanks you. This one's for you, Louie. And we'll see you next time. Bye.